If you know this lady as a chuswaza, you're probably getting your science from The Simpsons. Which is great because you already know, more or less, the true story of their invasion of Australia. These bloody things are everywhere. They're in the left, in a lorry, in the bond wizard, and all over the Malanga Gilda track. The Simpsons were parodying a classic Australian documentary from the 1980s. But since then, things have got a whole lot weirder. The classic episode had Bart Simpson releasing his pet into Australia. He thought it was a bullfrog. But... We know it was a cane toad like Bertha here. Cane toads were introduced into real life Australia intentionally to eat cane beetles that were damaging sugar cane crops. But this is the world's largest toad. Uh, Bertha's got a lot of growing to do. She could become pretty much the size of a guinea pig. And they eat anything that will fit into their mouths, presumably engulfing things like cream bit tinker frogs, pobble bonks and wallum frumblets. Australians really know how to name their wildlife, uh, which is why cane toads got rechristened in The Simpsons. That's an old name. I ought to call them chasmosers. So they swallow all that wildlife whole, but it gets worse. They're toxic. And their natural habitat here in the Amazon, they're fine. They fit into the ecology. Animals know not to eat them. They puff themselves up like that to deter predators uh, because there are some that can eat these things, toxins and all. So things like opossums and caiman will eat these no trouble. And that keeps their numbers in check. But out in Australia, their toxicity means that Australian animals can't eat them. But they don't know they can't eat them. Things like the endangered northern quoll is a frog predator. And it thinks this is a tasty snack. But unfortunately, they get sick and die. They're in danger of becoming the first extinction by toad poisoning. So out in Australia, nothing could touch them and the population spread across the whole country. It's the classic example of what can happen when you introduce a species from one part of the world to somewhere where they're not supposed to be a biological invasion. Any foreign creature you bring in could upset the environmental balance. Oh. A few special Australian animals have found a way to eat these things. The Australian water rat, it's a funny name. I'd have called it a fuzz dingler or something. So the clever fuzz dingler has learned to just go for the Chuswazza's heart, which is pure. No poison heart for you. Uh, and that makes sense because the toxins that these guys have in their skin cause heart problems, classic afflictions like brachycardia, trachycardia, atrioventricular conduction block, and, of course, sudden death. So in the 20 years since that Simpsons video, scientists have been doing their best to create enough material for a sequel. Behavioural ecologists found that if you fed those endangered quolls tiny bits of chuswaza, they get sick, but learn not to eat the toads. So, of course, conservationists took the obvious next step of making slightly toxic chuswaza sausages and dropping them from helicopters across the quolls' habitat, hoping that the quolls would eat the sausages and learn not to eat the toads. It didn't work. Uh, maybe the quolls didn't eat the sausages or maybe they didn't associate the sausages with the toads so it's back to the chopping board for the australian wildlife service and charles Wazers remain an enormous problem wherever they're not supposed to be but in the amazon you lovely are fine well that's what happens when you introduce foreign species into an ecosystem that can't handle them <laughs>